This is my first video in a series uh, for NoFap, so it's going to be the science of NoFap. How NoFap can lower stress by raising testosterone. Okay, so cholesterol is used to make both testosterone and cortisol. It's also used to make a lot of other steroid hormones, but we're going to focus on only a few here. So again, cholesterol is used to make testosterone. So when we practice NoFap, our, testosterone's, our testosterone levels go up. Now, when our testosterone levels go up and it enters the brain, so when testosterone enters the brain, it can be converted to estrogen by an enzyme called aromatase. Now, once testosterone is converted to estrogen in the brain, that increases the sensitivity and number of oxytocin receptors on the amygdala. Now, once that happens, it increases the chance of oxytocin binding to the, amyg the amygdala in the brain. Now, once oxytocin binds to the amygdala, it tells the amygdala to shut down. And as a consequence, uh, uh, cortisol levels drop, excuse me. So once uh, estrogen enters the brain and increases the number and sensitivity of these oxytocin receptors, on the amygdala, which increases the binding of oxytocin to the amygdala. Now, when that happens, the amygdala shuts down and that causes us to reduce the production of cholesterol, which is the stress hormone in the body. So here, I just have it written out. Estrogen increases the sensitivity of oxytocin and, uh, of the oxytocin receptors and the number of receptors. Oxytocin turns off the amygdala when bound to the receptor. Now, when the amygdala is turned off, cortisol levels drop. Conversely, uh, progesterone decreases the number of oxytocin receptors, which activate the amygdala and it raises cortisol levels. Now, progesterone and estrogen tend to act in a seesaw fashion. So when there's more estrogen, there's likely less progesterone. So this all starts with raising our testosterone levels. It's our testosterone levels that go up that allow us to produce estrogen in the brain by way of aromatase, which is the enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. And it's this estrogen in the brain that actually helps us lower our cortisol levels for us. Not only that, estrogen masculinizes the brain. So a lot of people think that testosterone is the reason that we're so manly, but it's actually these estrogens in the brain in early development, especially that help masculinize the brain. It helps develop the masculine areas of the brain. Not only that, <clears throat> estrogens in the brain also increase neurotransmitters and nerve growth in certain areas of the brain. So practicing NoFap and raising our testosterone levels is likely to lower our cholesterol, I mean, our cortisol levels uh, again. And when that happens, um, when we raise our testosterone levels and reduce our cortisol levels, that allows more cholesterol to be converted to tes testosterone, excuse me. So raising our testosterone again through NoFap is ultimately going to help the body produce more testosterone by lowering cortisol levels, freeing up more cholesterol to be shunted down this testosterone synthesis pathway. So that is one way that NoFap can help reduce stress by lowering, shutting off the amygdala and turning off uh, cortisol production. Again, this is my first video in the science of NoFap. I'm going to put up uh, several hopefully in the next uh, month or so. So thanks for watching.